Hey guys, welcome to the Fish Room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a Tuesday tip and I'm just going to jump right into it. So let's go. So one of the things that I use in my fish room extensively is this black pump here. And that's a pump that's designed for like a wet bar or to go underneath a utility sink to be able to pump water to the sewer line when you don't have plumbing available. Um, this morning I was doing some water changes and all of my stand pipes and all of my stand pipes which are these guys that I have all around my fish room that all lead to this disgusting pump uh, started overflowing onto the floor. I mean we all know I'm good at making messes but I don't usually do this especially when I'm just draining and filling aquariums. Um, at first I thought maybe the pump was full of debris and I mean because they have to be maintained we take it apart like every year 18 months clean it out you know make sure there's not a bunch of gunk in there because I'll accidentally siphon up some substrate you know I'll suck up some snails plant debris whatever so it's not at all uncommon to have to maintain these it has like a float in it so once the debris builds up to the point that the float can't do its job they they stop working and normally my first course of action is to violently shake and kick the housing which moves around the debris inside and it starts working again upon closer inspection i realized that captain cranky pants filter wasn't working that little canister wasn't working which means the power strip i have run underneath the bottom of these aquariums is compromised so we've unplugged everything hit the reset button and went to get some electrical tester jobbies to to sort of see what's going on maybe one of the uh, pieces of equipment is faulty maybe the power strip is faulty but uh, it's important when running a fish room like this to troubleshoot and figure it out so my husband's gonna help me do that so Chris has out the multimeter or electrical tester jobby and he's just gonna test the power strip so we have power to the strip, which means it's one of my pieces of equipment that's running that has uh, caused the failure. And if I was a bedding woman, it would either be my room heater or the heater in the Oscars tank. Um, heaters are notoriously unreliable, no matter what type they are. So we're gonna investigate the matter and try and figure out what is failing. So it turns out it wasn't my heater at all. It was uh, this power strip. I use only like two of these in the fish room. I have most of my boxes run, but I had these underneath the longest row of my aquarium stands in case I needed to plug anything in from the middle of the room. That way I wouldn't have to climb up on a ladder to be able to use it. And I had my space heater plugged into this as well as a few other various things. And it simply shorted out. Now the good news is, or the lesson to be taken from this, is to have redundancy with your equipment. So I have spares of these laying around. They're not that expensive. So it's just a good idea if you're using anything like power strips um, to have spares around and to also make sure that they're not installed on the floor. Mine are zip tied to the underside of my racks. And that way if something happens like the overflow of my drain ports, this doesn't get saturated with water. You want to set it up with a good drip loop. So that's this week's lesson. Uh, right now I'm just cleaning up and I'm going to show you. The other thing is, is by installing these power strips underneath my racks, we have to somehow fish the wires behind all the racks. And all we did was tape the cord to a siphon, which was a lot easier and more rigid to get behind the racks and then I'll plug it in. So I'll show you guys that creative engineering as well. So the power strip, so the power strip plugs in up there, but is actually placed underneath over here, underneath the Oscar tank. So we had to run the cord from over there behind all these tanks up to here 
and my husband being the genius that he is uh, taped the cord to this siphon tube that was easy to fish up so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and we'll make sure everything's working this power strip also runs my dehumidifier so it's really important and you can hear right away things are firing up so the moral of the story is always have a backup plan as always, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website. And let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. As a reminder, I'll be at the Big Fish Deal March 10th through 12th in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I hope to see a lot of you there. If you come, make sure you stop by and say hi.